Hey everybody, I'm about to show you a foot sweep that's gonna totally change your stand-up game. I'm Nick Oliver, I'm a black belt here in San Diego. Let's get into it. We'll go over the move first, and then I'll show it, and then we'll go over some of the details. Okay, so. Okay, how I'm gonna start drilling this is I want same side foot forward as my uh, partner. So what I'm gonna do is first get a collar tie here, strong collar tie in the back of the neck, and then I'm gonna get far side wrist control. What I'm gonna do is then bring the weight of my opponent over his foot, okay, by changing levels a little bit. Once I get the weight onto this foot so he can't move it, I then I'm going to step behind his ankle here, his heel. Okay, once I step behind, I use my forearm to take the weight off of his foot. I then I'm going to kick and pull. Okay, again, same side foot forward, strong collar tie position. Far side wrist control, any arm control works. Tricep, elbow, wrist, I prefer the wrist though. Bring the weight down over the foot, step in behind the heel, weight off of the foot, kick and pull. Okay, so simply put, it's pull, step, push, pull. And then we can go live from this side. Uh, little details for this, you wanna have a strong collar tie. I'm not just using my hand, I'm using my elbow and my forearm. So as I tie my partner up, as I'm pulling, I'm using my hand, and as I'm pushing, I'm using my elbow and my forearm. Okay, so pull, push, pull, push. I'm also using the hook part of my hand to pull him across my body when I actually go for the sweep. This is less like a timing foot sweep, less like when you get them to, as you get them to step, I then hit it, okay? This is more of less relied on timing, more rely on you just being able to do the correct mechanics. That's probably why I like it so much. So collar tie, okay? When I step behind, I want this foot strong and flexed. So less of the sweeping motion and more of the strong foot picking his foot up, okay? So again, collar tie, wrist control, weight down, step, weight off, pick his foot up and pull. One more detail is I stand southpaw, so it's uh, pretty easy for me in many ways to, if someone's orthodox, for this foot to be forward. So I'm very fortunate in that way. However, if you're going against somebody and they have opposite stance of you, you can always use this collar tie Okay, to bring that back foot forward, okay? So when I'm here, if I'm really having a hard time, if I don't wanna do it on this side to switch, I can always circle step to get them to step, and then as they step, I just, I perform the same move. So I collar tie, here, and go. So for the sake of drilling, drill with your partners, same side foot forward, just so you can get the hang of it, here. But if you're, uh, if you're rolling, if you're orthodox stance and your partner's orthodox or vice versa, you could always use that collar tie to make them step, circle step, make them step, and then you step behind. Depending on how well the sweep goes for you is where you're gonna wind up in the finish position after the takedown. So if you hit this real clean, sometimes you catch them off guard and you get the balance just right. As they fall down, you're gonna try to fall back down to side control. That's like best case scenario. Sometimes you sweep it so well, they'll actually turn over and roll to all fours, and then you start trying to get into your back attacks. So sometimes you go, you sweep so well, they turn and run, and you try to get right up into your turtle, your back ticks. From my experience doing this move, I've had the most success hitting this uh, at the very beginning of matches. So as soon as we shake hands, Okay, I'm feeling them out. I, as I get my collar tie, the first thing I do is hit this move. Okay, and go for it. Uh, I have hit it later on in matches, but I'd probably say about 80% of the success I've had is at the first minute, first 30 seconds. I love doing takedowns. They tend to take a lot of energy. So double legs, throws, these kind of things require a lot of uh, work. Where for me, this is like the whole essence of jujitsu. Doing a foot sweep is lowest amount of energy for maximum amount of result, maximum uh, effectiveness for least amount of work or effort. So if you can pull the foot sweep off, um, 
you're saving yourself a lot of work, a lot of energy, and you can use that work to submit or finish your opponent. If, if you miss this move, there's, there's not a lot that's gonna happen off of it. I mean, if you have good counter wrestlers, no matter what you do, they're gonna try to get in on you. Yeah, very low risk. If it doesn't hit, do it again, do it again, do it again, until it hits or until it sets something else up for you. So the worst that happens is, if we go here, the palm is off, he steps out. We're still more or less in the same position. I started in and I want, I can just go for it again, or uh, I like to chain this as a foot sweep. So uh, with this, with Kochigari. So I'll go, uh, step back this way a little bit. So a lot of times what'll happen for me is, I step in and as they step out, okay, I lose that grip. I'll back step in again and go for the far angle. Okay, again, same thing, uh, low effort. And um, at the very least, you get really good unbalancing. So you may not get like a clean, cool, like, oh, everyone screams judo takedown, but you will generally get enough unbalancing to, to wrestle someone down, force them down on the ground. Yeah, the, that's what I normally do for this here. Step out and go across. Same foot sweep works just as well, if not better, in the gi. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is thumb inside, collar grip. I generally like my uh, lapel grip right at the collarbone. Okay, and then the same thing. I wanna get this far side cuff grip. You can get cuff, you can get elbow, uh, however you wanna grab the gi, just as so long as you're controlling this far side arm. Okay, and then the same thing, I'm gonna Bring the weight down on this front foot. Okay, make sure that uh, his weight is on that foot so he doesn't want to move it. Step behind, push him, weight off, kick and pull. Okay, it's actually much nicer with Biggie. So thumb inside lapel grip, right at the collarbone, far side wrist control, cuff grip. Okay, bring his weight down, step behind, weight off, push him away, kick and pull. Another detail is, I'm holding that foot up as long as I can. I'm not just kicking this through and hoping he falls, okay? I'm keeping my foot flexed and I'm keeping contact on the back of his heel as much as possible, okay, until he falls down. So weight down, step behind, weight off, kick, and I hold this up, okay? As I hold this up, I bring my elbow into my rib cage and pull. Thumb inside, wrist control. Step outside the foot, push, kick, pull. All right guys, thank you for watching. Give this foot sweep a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.